What is welding inspection? Welding inspection is a crucial aspect of welding that ensures the quality and safety of welded products. It involves a series of steps that are designed to identify any defects or flaws in the welding process, which could compromise the integrity of the weld. Welding inspection is essential for ensuring that welded products meet the required standards and specifications, and it is often a mandatory requirement in many industries. The process of welding inspection involves three stages, pre-welding inspection, in-process welding inspection, and post-welding inspection. Each stage has its own unique set of procedures and requirements, which are designed to ensure that the welding process is carried out correctly and that the final product meets the required standards. In this comprehensive guide, we will take a closer look at each stage of welding inspection, including the procedures involved, the equipment used, and the standards and specifications that must be met. By the end of this guide, you will have a better understanding of the importance of welding inspection and how it can help to ensure the quality and safety of welded products. 2. Pre-Welding Inspection Stage The pre-welding inspection stage is a crucial part of the welding process. This stage involves checking the materials and equipment to ensure they meet the required standards for welding. The inspector will examine the materials to make sure they are free from any defects, such as cracks or warping, that could compromise the integrity of the weld. In addition, the inspector will check the welding equipment to ensure it is in good working condition. This includes checking the welding machine, cables, and other accessories. The inspector will also verify that the welding operator has the necessary qualifications and certifications to perform the job. During the pre-welding inspection stage, the inspector will review the welding procedure specification, WPS, to ensure it is appropriate for the materials being welded. The WPS outlines the specific welding parameters, such as the type of welding process, the welding position, and the welding technique, that must be followed to ensure a quality weld. Overall, the pre-welding inspection stage is critical to ensuring that the welding process starts off on the right foot. By identifying any potential issues before welding begins, the inspector can help prevent costly mistakes and ensure a successful outcome. 3. In-process welding inspection stage During the in-process welding inspection stage, the inspector monitors the welding process to ensure that it is being carried out according to the established procedures. This stage is critical because it helps to identify any defects or issues that may arise during the welding process and correct them before they become major problems. The inspector checks the welds for proper size, shape, and alignment. They also examine the weld bead to ensure that it is uniform and free of any cracks, porosity, or other defects. The inspector may use various tools such as gauges, magnifying glasses, and ultrasonic testing equipment to check the quality of the welds. In addition to examining the welds, the inspector also checks the welding equipment to ensure that it is functioning correctly. They verify that the welding machine is set up correctly, the electrodes are in good condition, and the shielding gas is flowing properly. If any issues are identified during the in-process inspection, the inspector will work with the welding team to address them immediately. This may involve adjusting the welding parameters, replacing faulty equipment, or reworking the welds. Overall, the in-process welding inspection stage is crucial to ensuring that the final product meets the required quality standards. By catching and correcting any issues early on, the welding team can avoid costly rework and ensure that the finished product is safe and reliable. 4. Post-Welding Inspection Stage After the welding process is complete, it's time for post-welding inspection. This stage is crucial as it ensures that the welded joint meets the required standards and specifications. The post-welding inspection stage involves a series of tests and examinations to determine if the weld has any defects or flaws that could compromise its integrity. One of the most common methods used in post-welding inspection is visual inspection. This involves examining the weld with the naked eye to check for any visible defects such as cracks, porosity, undercutting, or incomplete fusion. If any defects are found, they must be repaired before the weld can be approved. Another method used in post-welding inspection is non-destructive testing, NDT. NDT techniques include radiography, ultrasonic testing, magnetic particle testing, and dye-penetrant testing. These methods allow inspectors to detect internal defects that may not be visible during visual inspection. Once the inspection is complete, the inspector will issue a report detailing the results of the inspection. If the weld meets the required standards and specifications, it will be approved. However, if any defects are found, the weld will need to be repaired and reinspected before it can be approved. 
In conclusion, the post-welding inspection stage is critical in ensuring that the welded joint meets the required standards and specifications. It involves a series of tests and examinations to detect any defects or flaws that could compromise the integrity of the weld. By conducting thorough post-welding inspections, we can ensure that our welded structures are safe and reliable.